welcome to beautiful Alfred D. Boyer Stadium. I'm the voice of the Western Illinois Fighting Leatherneck baseball team, Michael Braskowski. And today we're going to talk to head coach Mike Milano and a few of the players about the upcoming Summit League Conference Tournament, a tournament that the Leathernecks have not been a participant in since 2008, and has a real good shot at doing so this season as a program is headed in the right direction. I'm here with John Kozlinski and Dan Russell, and John, being here four years, hard work is to go up to Falls and play at a conference tournament. Uh, you have no idea. Um, my freshman year, we were able to do it, and the uh, opportunity and the overall uh, situation that we had there was, it was unbelievable. I mean, uh, it was at Oral Roberts that year, and they were a great host. Um, I'm assuming South Dakota is going to be the exact same way, uh, but the last two years have been kind of disappointing. It's really gratifying to get back into the tournament hunt and hopefully take it to the next level. All right, and Dan, um, having John behind him play, how beneficial is that for you and the other three starters? Um, John's been very, very good for us this year. Um, he's a big, big body back there, nice, <coughs> easy target to throw to. You know, he works real hard. He's good at blocking the ball, good at receiving. So, uh, and definitely him being here for four years also is a big asset, too. You know, you've been kind of the ace of this four-man staff on the weekends. So do you always want the game or the ball the first game of the series, or does it matter when you I do. I think that I want to kind of set the tone for the weekend, kind of get things going, get guys pumped up a little bit. And, John, you've caught these guys all all season. How have how these three four-starters, Dan, how have they been? Pitching this season has done a great job. Oh, unbelievable. Um, by far, probably the best co pitching staff that I've ever caught. Um, you know, they're able to get, they're keeping the ball down, getting people out, uh, and most of all, they're throwing strikes every single day at bat. I mean, they're battling out there. Some of them might not have the best stuff, but you know, they're going to go out there, throw strikes, and keep competing. And uh, that's where it counts the most because our bats are going to come around eventually. As long as they keep us in the game, it's going to be good. I'd like to hear uh, from you both here on this final question. I'll start with Dan. Uh, just your thoughts going on the conference tournament. You know, there is a team in this conference that you guys can't beat going back to those first years of Oral Roberts and South Dakota State. So what's your, kind of your mindset going into this conference tournament? Going into the tournament, we're looking to win it. We really are. We know we can compete with everybody, and we've shown that throughout the season. So we can put three good games together and take the tournament. Uh, going off what he said, uh, we can't have any letdowns in the tournament. I mean, everybody's playing. Everybody's got up their game. That everybody's going to. We can't walk in there saying, oh, we took two from Oral Roberts. We probably should have beat South Dakota State one, two or four. And we haven't even played North Dakota State yet. But you got to go in there with the mindset that every game is going to go to the last out. And just like we've been doing all season, you got to keep playing the game by pitch by pitch, inning by inning, out by out. All right. Thanks, guys, and good luck. Thank, Thank you very much. I'm here with senior outfielder Anthony Cascade, and Anthony, I just want to get your thoughts so far on the season, so how it's been going. Um, you know, started off pretty rough. Um, with all the guys, we had talent, we just couldn't put together, you know, a full game, and I was kind of disappointed in the beginning, but we came around, you know, one day we'd have our pitching out there, and then one day our hitting wasn't there, and when we finally put it all together, you know, you could just really see, like, where this team is going, the potential we have, and... Right now, I think we're sitting pretty good. We got the tournament coming up. This weekend's pretty big for us. So, see, go up to North Dakota and show them what we really are. You know, you're you're more known for your speed in baseball, but you had a, one home run this year. But it was a big one. I want you to talk a little about that. It was a big home run against Bradley. It was in the eighth inning and held on for the victory. I want to get your thoughts on that home run against Bradley. Yeah, um, yeah, it felt good. You know, I was hitting the ball pretty well that day, and I was seeing it really well and. You know, home runs, like I said before, are accidents for me. It was just pretty much a hard line drive that just got up there and carried out. Um, felt really good just to take it from them. And, uh, and uh, what's a better feeling for you? Hitting that winning home run or stealing third base like you did against Centenary, getting in scoring position, scoring three of the team's four runs? Pretty much the same feeling. I mean, home runs are pretty big and they're really nice to hit but they don't come often so those are pretty special and uh, but stealing bases that's like I feel is my job you know to get to the next base get myself into scoring position you know to help out the team so they're probably about equal all right final question what's your thoughts going on the conference tournament uh, they're pretty positive I feel like we got a great team and um, see what North Dakota has and put ourselves in a position we want to get in the three spot hopefully and then win a couple games in the tournament and then take it all.
game plan. So. All right, thanks very much. Right, thank you. I'm joined now with head coach of the Love and X, Mike Milano. Coach, I just want to say thanks for joining me. And I just want to get your thoughts on the season from the fall and going through the spring, how it's going so far. You know, it's a transition period. I mean, we, so many new guys, so many first-time Division One players. You know, you're going to go through, uh, you're going to go through some uh, ups and downs, and, and we've had both by far. I mean, we uh, we have potential to beat a lot of people, and we have the potential to lose to people, depending on how we play. And you know, the preseason rankings had you finishing fifth, but I know you, with the talent, believe that it could be higher and you know, could finish in third. And that has to be a good feeling, knowing the guys you brought in your second year already could be finishing third in the conference. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's nice. I mean, obviously, your goal to start out a season is never even third, or it's never fourth, it's never second, it's, it's first, you know. But, you know, I understand it is a process, and, you know, I mean, everyone keeps telling me Rome's not building a day, all that stuff. But, you know, we are getting better, and... Uh, you know, I know that going into this last uh, series, we still have to win games or else we're not even in the tournament, you know, let alone third place. I know that uh, we've, we've let some games go that we should have easily had, and, and, and that's unfortunate. But, you know, we have to get beyond that and go out there and just play as hard as we possibly can. And, and hopefully we can take one game at a time and one pitch at a time and, and, and beat North Dakota State. I wanted to ask you, how great has this pitching staff been this year? The four guys that you sent out there on the weekend, it seems from one through four that there's not really a letdown. Well, I mean, they have their moments. I mean, they've, uh, you know, they, they've gotten better as the year went on. That's that's the beauty of it. And, and you know, I tell them all the time that, you know, as far as teams go, as far as individuals go, you know, you're not going to stay the same throughout the season. You're either going to get better or you're going to get worse. And, and, you know, the starting pitching has gotten better as the, as the season went on. They've learned how to pitch. They've been more uh, comfortable trusting their stuff, knowing who they are. And, and, uh, and I'm actually pretty proud of the way that they've reacted to uh the adversity that we had early in the season and kind of rebounded from that and, and stepped up and became leaders. And uh, one more question, you know, the future is really bright for this Love Night program, the recruiting class you were bringing in is incredible, combining with the guys that are playing here now. What's the major selling point of coming to play here and putting on the purple uniform? You know, we're all about player development. I mean, it's a great university. It's a, it's a uh, you know, socially, it's, they, you know, they have a good time. Academically, it, it provides a lot of uh, a lot of different options and then athletically you know we're all about developing players and, and going up above and beyond for the individual player making them the best possible player that they can be and hopefully eventually you know putting them into professional baseball you know, I know coach Coriel says it all the time and you know you have, you have really two options when you come here it's a uh, get a degree or play professional baseball and we're hoping both and, and we want to graduate people uh, academically and then professionally to the next level and and hopefully they can uh, they can go there compete and, and you know play at the highest level of baseball all right thanks coach and good luck finishing out the season and, and the rest of the conference thank you very much